Hello everyone, this is my first time doing a voiceover. I'm kinda nervous and awkward, not gonna lie. <laughs> Hope that my voice is clear for you guys, cause there's an AC running in the background right now. And I'm not giving any wrong infos for you guys. Anyways, for today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to talk about how I applied for my PTPTN which is a study loan for Malaysians to further our studies provided by the government. I do believe that other countries have their own policy on helping their students, but ours is called PTPTN, which is Perbadanan Tabung Pendidikan Tinggi Nasional. As of today, my application for PTPTN had been approved on 23rd of May. Note that I have started the whole process on 24th of April. Yes. I spent a whole month working on this loan application and I'm in debt now. I need to pay back the loan in 15 years when I start working. Sounds like a long time right? Yes it is. Before you do all the things that I'll say, you should first check whether PTPTN accepts application for your course during this time using PTPTN Simakan Jadual Permohonan dan Bayaran Pinjaman. You just need to search PTPTN Semakan Channel on Google or it's linked in the description below. Just click on it, okay? And search for the course on the page. In the website, you should see all the details about your course and the application dates. Okay, now let's just put this into a few chapters. Chapter 1 Preparation. At first, I didn't know what to do for the application. Then I went to PTPTN office and asked from the people what to do. First, you'll need to create a bank account based on your university's panel bank. You can check it at the website I just mentioned. For my university, MMU, they're using CIMB bank. At the bank, you should tell the staff that you need this account for PTPTN purposes because these days they seem to not let you create a bank account without a specific purpose I don't know, it seems like it Second, you must buy the PTP10 pin code from BSN for Rp. 5 ringgit. You can buy this at the bank or online through the registration portal You'll need to fill in the pin when you register for your PTP10 account and I just know that you can buy it online instead of buying it in the bank itself and last, for the preparation, you need to create an SSPN account at any PTPTN office. I chose the Delima package, which is the most basic since I'm using this for PTPTN purposes only and you need to deposit a minimum amount of 20 ringgit for both the panel bank and this SSPN account. Chapter 2 Application in the website, it's nice and easy, you just need, have to click on the Pendaftaran Permohonan Pinjaman It will direct you to a BSN pin code buying site Link in the description too, you just need to follow what it says and buy the pin code if you don't have one Then you'll just need to create an account on PTPT and after that you'll receive an email Follow the steps, fill in all the things including your personal information, your salary if you have a job, your family info and your course info. Just fill in all the things and then just press submit. What's submit in Malay? Oh, it's Sakan. After you Sakan, you should receive an email stating that they have received the submission and they should approve it after 6 days of submission. I repeat, after 6 days uh, of submission. Uh, I think they want to check all the information that you have submitted like your income thingy to check how much you can loan Okay Then now on to chapter 3 Document Submission Aha the fun part I tell you After you have waited for a long long time You should see that your submission has been approved if everything goes smoothly la. For mine it took like 15 days from 26 to 11 and I received an email from my university's bursary unit telling me what I should do next. When your submission has been approved, you'll need to log in to the PTPTN website again, click on the Dilulu scan, and print out two sets of Surat Tawaran PTPTN given. 
Note: No double sided is allowed and it's okay to print in black and white. Then you must sign at tanda tangan peminjam at page two, page six to eight, and at lampiran A. Note that only fill in the same date for all date columns. Okay. For page ten to fifteen, read all the terms and conditions carefully and sign at the bottom of the page. Then leave it blank for the tanda tangan perbandanan at page nine. Also, print a copy of your offer letter. Okay, after you have signed the document, buy two pieces of ten ringgit stamp hasil from any post office, and paste it on your agreement at page seven of both documents. Now here comes the mafan part. I tell you, you should get a signature from any of these people. I went to so many places. I went to Pengkulu's office. He don't have his chalk with him. I went to my secondary school. The principal is celebrating Teachers Day. Coincidentally, went to my primary school. The principal was on leave. Went to another secondary school. The principal signed at the wrong spot. Oh my God! Then, at last, I got the signature from the Pengkulu along with his chalk. You must get their chop, okay? You must. At last, you just need to submit the signed document and offer letter to any PTPTN office before the submission deadline. They should state it for you guys, lah. The, the submission deadline. Now you just have to wait for an email stating that your application has been approved, and now you're done with this PTPTN thingy. I hope this is clear. About how to apply for PTPTN, and this video being useful for you all. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'll answer those questions if I know the answer too. Okay, that's all for today. Bye, everyone.